So the plan today is to go into 702 cards and find some deals on cards that I can flip online for a profit. Let's see how we do. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, what's up? How are you doing? Good, how are you, man? Pretty good, pretty good. One of my favorite things that happens when you go to shops that do really well with their bargain boxes is they're putting new cards in all the time, and I find a fresh pocket of cards like today. Found a ton of Chet Holgren rookies. These are Chronicles mostly, but at a dollar a piece, I'm picking up every Chet I can right now. He's playing really well. OKC is playing amazing. A lot of these mosaics from the new basketball are numbered. So at a dollar a pop, I'm really not thinking too much of it. It's something that can go in my whatnot auction if needs be, or can go on eBay. Um, Luka Doncic optic, just a good looking card. That actually might be mosaic. That's mosaic. Numbered to 100. That's a bookend, I believe. 100 of 100. This is a really cool card. Numbered to 199. I believe from the national, this last national 2023. Cool looking card. This is awesome in the dollar box. A number to 50 Adam Flagler autograph. He's not a big name. He's still in college. The comps are all over the place, but at a buck, I'm going to take the chance. Could go for five shipped, could go for 10 shipped. We'll see. I think it was a steal, though. A color match, Reggie Bullock, numbered to like 199, blue on blue with that Dallas Mavericks uh, uniform. Another nice one. Trey Mann, I think, is in the G League right now, so who knows. At first, I was picking up all of these mosaics. There ended up being so many, I got to be a little bit more picky later on. Wendell Carter Jr. to 75, number one of 75, Boban, unique, interesting player. A lot of people like him, numbered to 199. A dollar autograph. I didn't know who this dude was, but at a buck, somewhat newer product, I'll pick it up. More Chets. I wasn't joking. I found a lot of Chets today in the dollar, two dollar range. Here is a Fred Van Fleet, numbered to 100. Nice card, color match with the Raptors Uni. Super cool. Here we go. A Jonas Valanciunas. Not bad, I'll take it. A Stairmasters LeBron. Just a cool insert from this year's mosaic of LeBron James. This is cool, and I didn't notice it at the time. Numbered 11 of 99. That Mike Conley is jersey number. Stay tuned till later in the video. I went over to Legacy, and I just hunted for jersey number match cards, and I found quite a few. I picked up this Malik Beasley mostly because he was in a Lakers uniform, and Lakers stuff can do pretty well in general. At a buck, I can just take all sorts of chances, and by chances, I mean super minimal chances. There's not a lot of money behind these. A Kawhi to 99, I'll take that all day. Herbert Jones has been playing really well. That is a numbered Herb. We got ourselves a Jeff, oh, Bruce Brown. See, guys, I can't see. I don't have my glasses on when I'm looking at this, doing the voiceover. Greg Brown, number to 99. Another Chet. I think this is like the third Luminance Chet I've got so far today out of the dollar box. This is a number to 100 Malcolm Brogdon. It's a bookend, 100 of 100. Let's take a brief break from 702 and go to Legacy, where I was looking through a ton of boxes and found these jersey match cards. This is 78 of 99. Do you guys remember that Burbank box? Uh, I thought of that, and then I just started looking for jersey matches and found a ton of Jerry Kramer, 64, that's his jersey number, out of 100. We got a Markel Fultz for $3.20, 20, number 20 of 75, so that's jersey match. Karis LeVert, he's number 22 for 3 bucks, 22 of 50 jersey number match. This is cool. Only number to 25, Buddy Heald, for 3 bucks, 24 of 25, his number. His jersey number is 24. Christian Wood hasn't been playing as great lately as he did a couple years ago for four bucks, 35 of 99. I'm picking these all up because I think they're cool. I think I can ask a premium. These are obscure players, so they're probably not going to sell super fast. For two bucks, my guy, former Utah Jazz guy, Paul Millsap, four of 60. This was fun to dig through and find. How do you think I'll do on these? Here is a pretty low numbered Christian Coloco of the Raptors, 11 of 49. I also found quite a few Paolo Boncheros. Here's a Mosaic rookie. I sold a Prism recently, two of them for $5 a piece. We got ourselves a Corey Kispert numbered to 75, the basketball parallel right there for hoops. We got a Max McClung. I don't know how much NBA jersey stuff he has. There's not much, so I thought that was cool. Danny Green. We got ourselves a Robert Williams, who's now on the Portland Trail Blazers. I think he might be starting. Coming off the bench, I'm not 100% sure. Fonecchio, the Utah Jazz. This is number to 99. I don't care if this sells. I'm a Utah Jazz guy. I may end up keeping it at a buck. Why not? I just thought this was a cool parallel. Don't know much about Vince Williams Jr., but number to 99. We got ourselves another Christian Coloco to 99. Jabari Smith Jr. About half of this stuff that I'm getting in the dollar range goes through whatnot. 
And then the other half usually goes on eBay. Some may go on DibDit, my new site. But overall, this is going to be a mixture in the in the two and the five and the ten dollar stuff. It's pretty split as well on what goes on whatnot and what goes on eBay. I want to make sure there's cool stuff and really cool deals on whatnot for you guys. The next auction is Monday, December 11th. I just got a really big card that I'm starting at two dollars on that auction. So check that out. Bookmark it. Um, I appreciate you guys. Also, I have that $15 credit. Enough of that, guys. Back to the cards. Um, we've got a Jalen McDaniels. Somebody was asking me for Jaden McDaniels in the auction the other day. I got his twin brother. <laughs> so here we go. Tobias Harris. Pretty underrated guy, but really in this business, guys, it doesn't matter if you're underrated or overrated. The cards are worth whatever they're worth. A Drew Gooden auto for $1. That actually did pretty decent on whatnot for me. And that is my thesis for the modern day sports card market. It's all about hype, 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 and then a little bit more hype. There are players with 500 home runs, Hall of Famers. There's basketball players, top 10, top 20, all time. And you can get their rookie cards for 10 bucks or less. And there's new guys just coming out that haven't proven anything, and you can't touch a rookie card for $10. You know, so that's how the market is. Even some of the autographs are markedly different between Hall of Famers and the hyped guys like a Chet Holgrim, for example. The market is just strange that way. It's always been about hype since the beginning of when I started this. When I started collecting cards in 1990, people were looking for, I think, Kevin Mass, Brian Taylor. None of these guys did anything in the major league, but their cards were worth more at the time than a lot of solid Hall of Fame players. I'm almost done with the dollar stack, then on to a little better stuff. Here's a dollar Paulo, Eastern Conference Player of the Week last week. Max Verstappen stuff at a buck, especially this blue sapphire. I'm going to take that all day. I get two, three, four, five, six dollars a piece for those on whatnot, and another Max. Those have done really well. Genesis, these are five dollars a piece. I get these and I put them on whatnot. Honestly, these two, I don't think they made me much money. I think I made six, seven, somewhere around there. Um, plus shipping on each one. But I wanted to have some cool case hits in the auction. Danny Green, number to 99. Iconic player. Paid five. Uh, there we go. Another Fonacheccio. I, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. But at five bucks, I'm going to... I ended up getting it because he's a jazz guy. Bruce Brown. Played really well for the Nuggets last year. He's now on the Indiana Pacers. I ended up passing on this David West. That probably should be worth more than a lot of these other cards. He had a great career. And this Wendell Carter Jr. is numbered to 25 for 5 bucks. I'll take it. And I love finding an on-card flawless autograph. This is $10, numbered to 25 Hall of Famer. And it's only $10 in this bargain box. This is exactly what I'm talking about. It's all about what you're paying for your cards in this game if you're flipping, guys. These were $0.50 cents a piece, these ones without the top loaders. A game used, Stefan Marbury. I think this went for like four or five on whatnot. I think this is Joe Sackick's rookie card. I'm not 100% sure. I don't do that much hockey, but I couldn't resist. Anthony Davis, just shiny stuff to go in the whatnot auction. And three Marquise Browns. Maybe they'll get Caleb William next year and Marquise's stuff will be worth more. Who knows? For 50 cents, why not? Second year, King Griffey Jr. A dollar for esteem. I had one of those in my whatnot auction that did like three or four or five bucks. So I picked that up. Mitch Richmond's rookie card. Just some cool looking 90s, you know, cards. We got the uh, Skybox, Irving Magic Johnson. I like this, um, you know, image on this card. Lots of Michael Jordans at a buck a piece. If I like the image, I'm going to get it. This is a variation, Jeremy Soshin, for a dollar and a number to 49, Corey Kispert. I don't know much about Brandon Boston Jr., like how he's been playing, but this is a cool die-cut jersey card for two bucks. Decided to pick it up. Maybe should have passed. I'm not sure. This was only two bucks. All-Star Auto NBA Champion to 99. Put that on whatnot. Didn't make much money, if any, on that card. This Johnny Davis, he was like the eighth pick last year in the NBA draft. I put that up on eBay for like $29. We'll see how it does. I decided to look a little bit into the baseball box, see what I could find. I like these Topps Major League materials because they are game used. That's important. These are manufactured. They do well in my whatnot auction. They just look good. I tell people they're manufactured, not game worn, and they still do well. Josh Young for two bucks, number to 49. I know it's Prism. Put that through whatnot. That was a cool card as well. Um, that's a third year, 1983 Joe Montana for two bucks. Yes, I'm going to take that all day. A dollar Shohei and a dollar Mike Trout. And then this Travis Swaggerty is a cracked ice, number to 24. Just a sick looking card. I couldn't leave it behind. So I got both of these Malik Willis's. Not sure if I should have. They've been in the box for a little bit at 10 apiece. Got this one because it's number to 15. Put that on eBay for like 18. And this one because it just looks amazing. Leaf products. Some of them are dope. Number to five. I put that one through whatnot. I think I broke even. Maybe made a little bit. 
Um, this Randy Moss is sick. Red like disco laser. Anything shiny Travis Kelsey right now, I'm picking up, and it does well on Whatnot especially. No-brainer. Rasheed Rice has been playing well. Historically on Whatnot, Jamar Chase has done okay for me. Lately, he hasn't been doing as well, so I probably should have passed on that. Heinz Ward, number two, 149 for a buck all day. Debo, been playing really well lately for the 49ers. They just had that win against Philadelphia, which was huge. I think this is like a 1981 or 82 Terry Bradshaw. DeAndre Hopkins to 110. I love this insert right here. Turf Warriors, 1996. So gimmick cards did not just start in the last couple years. They've been around for a long time. This Turf Warriors card is a perfect example of that. Steve Young, super iconic for me. It feels like turf, like felt. It has a cool feeling to it. I would imagine a lot of them probably get damaged over time because that felt kind of gets damaged. But this one was in great condition. I loved it. Honestly, it's just a cool card. If you get that card, you put it on Whatnot or eBay and you're able to express how cool it is, you may very well make a profit on it. Gonna pick up this Aiden Hutchinson mosaic for a dollar for two bucks, a mosaic Joe Burrow. His market's down a little with the injury, but still. Calvin Ridley's been playing well, so I picked that up for a buck. Uh, we got a Shaquille Barrett um, numbered card for a buck. This is cool. I knew this was going to do well, and it did do well on my whatnot, number to 175, Hyper. A Jack Doyle color match prism for a buck. I paid five on this Devin DuVernay because it's super low numbered to 35. I'm trying to get like 10 for it. We'll see. This was cool. I liked it mostly because it looks like it has a piece of the glove in it, numbered to like 99. Also, I had to pick up some top loaders because I've been waiting forever for my case to come from Amazon. It's never a bad idea to buy in bulk. I had $240 worth of cards in the pile and I got all the cards for 200 I had to buy top loaders too so that was an additional ten dollars so I like to think that I got four of the ten dollar cards for free or eight of the five dollar cards for free which is mostly all the five dollar cards I got so that's how mentally I like to think of it of course it could be the dollar or two dollar cards however you want to think of it but it's extra value I love getting a good deal and I appreciated it had to get some top loaders too <laughs> I don't know what it is right now about top loaders maybe you're in you know dealing with this as well I went on Amazon to get a case usually it only takes a couple days but I got it as expedited as I could without paying a ton and still the 3rd of December was as soon as it would get here. So like a week, week and a half. So, eh, makes it a little more difficult, but uh, I'll still get things shipped out in top loaders. I have plenty laying around. I might have to take some out of, uh, you know, from other cards or something like that. We'll figure it out. So I'm back at my house and I want to show you, I've been opening a lot of these retail packs of hoops. I've been loving it. I'm trying to not show a case hit that I just pulled out of a $9 pack at Legacy Card Shop. I bought like six packs so far. I've gotten two Wimbies and this case hit like 80 to $90. Pretty good looking card. Um, it seems like with hoops, I guess, the case hits are a little less valuable. And that might be something that happens as more and more um, time passes and case hits become less interesting. This is also an SP. I don't know if it's a case hit, but this is a, a nice champions card. Oh, one more thing. I'm making a mess, guys. That Brandon Miller is pretty sick. But look at this. This insert right here, jam-tastic. That is 90s, I love it. So I decided I'm gonna put that LeBron James case hit card that I just pulled in my next WhatNot auction, which is gonna be December 11th at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Gonna be hundreds of cards starting at $2 each. And if you want a free $15 credit, if you're new to WhatNot, the link is in my description. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I love going to the card shop and I love taking you along. I'll check you guys all next time.